Welcome back to NSDC Gaming. My name is Senior Asset, and welcome back to Catherine. We are sitting in the bar with our friends again after the sixth night. We are going to go talk to some bitches before we get drunk. Would you like to speak to Liz? Would you like to? Speak I would like tomorrow? to speak to the bitches. Yes. Let me sit down. Let me have a drink. Of politicians, can you? You can't accept the rising cost of goods, can you? I hate economies. This one? Yeah. Mr. Justin wouldn't say that. Don't Did care. you know that Mr. Justin once interviewed a ballerina? Did you know she was Miss Anna's best friend? Did you Wait, know what? that it was Mr. Daniel who made Miss Anna stop crying? I see. Mr. Morgan died this morning. <gasps> it's two days until the time of freedom. Mr. Morgan, no! Goodbye, Goodbye Mr. Morgan. Our love is over. No! You got yeah, I get it. Fantastic. Mr. Daniel. What's up, Mr. Writer? Oh, hey, guy. You're... It's Mr. Justin. What's up, buddy? Today. I interviewed another woman today for a different story. She's pregnant, but she's marrying a man who isn't the father of her child. And she's not going to tell him that he isn't. It's the truth. Damn it. Why? She doesn't actually know who the father is. So among all the possible fathers, she went for the one who is the kindest and the dullest. He'll raise the baby, believing it to be his child. I'm sure he'd be happier if he didn't know. I don't think I agree with that. I hear that in any romantic relationship, feelings decline over time. One theory is that love is a drug, like alcohol or cigarettes. Repeated exposure makes you numb to it. That is, it's only hot and heavy in the beginning. It's the truth. Makes sense. You All right. Me. Vincent, have you gotten involved in something bad? In that case, tell me tell the truth. The problems mm. are my problem now. No. Nah. No. Suck a bitch. Give me the evil. Oh look, there, he, there she is, alone. Vincent. Oh well, I'm gonna sit down and talk to you then. Sorry you had to see me like that yesterday. I mean, is that really what you want? I mean, don't you love him? We're past the age of believing we'll have no problems just because we're in love. You too. But. He's adopted. He's what? been working hard all his life to repay the parents who raised him. He fought his way through, dealing with pressures all this time. He's a truly pitiable soul. I knew that I wouldn't be able to marry him. And that he was going to become someone else's from the very beginning. And now that day has come. Uh, cheer up. Uh, don't patronize me. Listen here, bitch. I'm trying to be nice. Like me. a dick. <laughs> hope you're working hard. I hope. Wait, what? Shit. <laughs> I love you talking with your job. Oh, it's our first real day tomorrow. I'm so excited. Let's do something after the movie. <laughs> Need to check no. this out somewhere with Nope. Pull up your phone. <laughs> nah. No. What does an ulcer feel like? Nah. Yes. Embrace the evil. Give me the evil emotions. Let's see who died. The story. Nicholas Clark, age 29, was the latest victim. A grisly story. <sighs> Morgan Cortez, age 42. Morgan? <sighs> Did I told you to kill him. Morgan Cortez? That's the officer who used to come here. Kevin Taylor, age 31. That concludes the current known list of victims. If we learn of any new information... Marriage is... To bear another person's life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marriage to bear... Bye. Our 
love it. Don't care. Shut up. I'll be right back. <laughs> no. No. Johnny looks pretty bad. He always hurts his problems from us, huh? But Chief's so cool. When one of his guys messes up, he sticks with him till the end. And that's his problem. He needs to take it easy. Man, if I was a girl, I'd be all over Chief. Tell him that when he comes back. <laughs> Ew. Sure he'll appreciate it. That's gnarly. So what you gonna do with a girl you're cheating with? She doesn't know you're sleeping around with her, right? I'm a terrible person, aren't I? This is my fault. I'm not gonna run from it. You go, Vincent. I'm gonna break up with her tomorrow. Once I'm clear, I'm gonna... I'm sure it'll all work out. Yeah. Oh, boy. Thanks. It was a rough nightmare, for sure. You all look like you're in really bad shape. Nothing's wrong with you. I don't have nightmares. I sleep like a baby every night. Me too, you me too. smiling like that, I'm gonna deck you. You can tell I'm happy. To be honest, me and Erica are... Uh... Anyway, let's let's have a drink. You got Check me. email. The Rapunzel Puzzle. It seems there's more than one ending to the Rapunzel game. You play at the bar. If you think you've beaten it once, maybe worth going through it again. We were to find the key to understand the truth and choice. No, no, I fucking hate that game. Oh, man, shit, I'm just so tired. So tired just because you had a bad dream. You never wake up with sore muscles from stuff you do in dreams, right? Man, I so want to punch you. <laughs> oh, liquor's really hitting me today. <laughs> if you check the high scores for that game, why are you boasting? Huh? What? I've got the high score right now. Not really? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I'll beat you soon. You guys are really into that game, huh? Yeah. Chief? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, everybody's gone. Let's go see what Mr. Boss Man has to say. Uh, type to see nightmares, Mr. Brooks? Yeah. Shit, why can't I remember them? Every night I've had them. Women aren't the only ones to get the marriage blues. Man asks everything from a woman, but when done so, he feels she is a burden. To pilfer the pond rings from a certain someone. It doesn't matter anymore. I figured it out. I want Catherine by my side, so I'm just gonna settle things. I hope it leads to a good conclusion. But still, Steve's voice, I've heard it somewhere before. Uh, shoot, when I break up with her, I need to keep my... No. Yo. Hey, Vincent. All right, take... Get loaded. <sighs> <laughs> Still hanging around the bar. <clears throat> we can't start this party without you. Did I, did I just hear something? Yes, you did. Good evening. Is Vincent here? Oh. <laughs> hmm? Hey, have you seen that Rapunzel game anywhere else? Mm, no. Yeah, me neither. It's really old, and all our customers play it just out of curiosity. Yes, curiosity. I saw Orlando and Johnny playing it the other day. They started fighting and blaming each other for messing up. Men who get hooked on stuff like that, <laughs> they're all just kids. Men aren't the only ones who get hooked on games. Yeah, but it's different for us. Toby Lies. doesn't play it, though. He says he didn't get the appeal. Maybe Toby's just more mature than you guys. Him? Who's only trying to act mature? Hey, aren't you going home? What, what, I... <laughs> Let's go talk to our bitch. What's up? Drink! <sighs> Look, Vincent. You're not hiding anything from me. Are you? Maybe. It's like I was the only one hiding something. Keep drinking. <sighs> Rumors are bullshit. Fuck curses. Fuck curses? I agree. Man's voice. Keep drinking your drink. <sighs> Stupid as I am. Don't care. Keep drinking. <sighs> Thank you. Look. Looks like I will. Can you finish your drink already? <sighs> Rumor. 
Okay, you know what? Talk to your bitch. Hey, have you ever cheated on anyone, Vincent? Huh? Well, uh... I can't imagine. It's you, after all. I've cheated on someone before. But don't worry, I'm only seeing you. Uh... Nah. I say this? It's really strange that I feel this way. <laughs> I'm gonna shift you guys, hold on. I'm trying to say? I'm probably not making much sense. Well... Man, you're not talking much today. I'm there we go. Let's move you guys around. Guy not saying anything. We're done talking today. Sorry. I'll see you tomorrow. I've been tired lately, and I want to sleep alone. Uh, Lies. Oh, then that's too bad. Lies and propaganda. You don't want to sleep alone. You want her by your what? side, you crazy you hound doggy. No. It's not like that, but. <laughs> Get back to that seat. And touch her tushy. And finish your fucking drink. <sighs> nah. No, Sorry. Seriously. What? You're. I have yes. something to do. Oh. I see. I'm going to stay and drink some more. Good night. Motherfuckers. Kind of pissed. I want to save some people, but I guess it's not really gonna happen that way. Seventh day. You're here. The spiral corridor is our locale tonight. Spiral it corridors. Is a passage to the cathedral. We got this night, and then one more night to go, and then we're home free. See? Almost home. Almost home. Jesus shit. The road to the cathedral starts here. Your mental powers will be truly tested here. Think hard while you challenge these areas. Who's gonna fuck up this kid? Alright. Well, shit. I can't wait to see what's coming up now. All right. I'm gonna try to really think about everything I do. Really gonna think, really gonna pull this apart. Alright. Alright, I got it. Really taking our time. How's this? Right. Second pitches. All right, I got it. Um. Here we go. All right, I got it. Now what? 
actually, hold on. So there's no... There's nothing underneath that. Which means I'm gonna make a bridge by doing this. Ah, <sighs> trying to put my mental thing in which it didn't work. Get out of here! Right, I got it. Time to do the bridge technique. We got this. Really gotta start really paying attention to your surroundings. Which I really haven't been doing in the past. It's really been kicking me in the tushy, but. Alright, I got it. Alright, I got it. Alright. Right. We almost fucked up, but we I think we had it nicely. Give me a silver at least for being good. As I expected, oh, that's nice. Survived. I knew you wouldn't die here. We're going all the way. What the fuck is that? Uh huh. All right. Well, I'm gonna save the game here. This is where we're going to stay for the night. Alright, guys. So, my name is Senior Asshat, signing off from SDC Game, and this has been Catherine. We're at the Spiral Staircase. Hopefully, we can get through this without much trouble like we have for the past uh, floor there. And, um, yeah. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment down below. And if you're done, so please subscribe and share this with your friends. And I will see you guys next time.